Hello everyone, Zarvolt here, and today we're going to be playing more of our uh, red, white, and black aftermath deck. Okay, what do we have? We've got plenty of land this time, so that is good, but it's all tap lands, so, hmm, but we are going first, um, got two black whites so we need a red so let's put this out then we'll be able to put our dread wanderer out this next turn okay dread wanderer Needle spires, and I guess we pass. He's got red. Does he have some sort of red removal? Okay, it's red black. He's got a glint sleeve siphoner. Okay. Let's see here. We need to see. We've got red. We've got hazard. Okay, that's good. Um, we got two black whites though, so let's get another red, I guess. Let's put out Carrie Zev and uh, block his um, block his stuff. His glint sleeve siphoner. Um, just so he doesn't get the energy, I guess. Doesn't get to draw cards because we don't we don't want him drawing cards. That's for sure. And first strike will kill it. So he's got to have some way to get rid of one of these two creatures so we can't block. Okay, there's the shock. Okay. So he attacks with Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Okay, we can't block because it has Menace. But luckily for us, Carry Zip has Menace. Okay. Hazret can't do anything yet. Let's, um, I guess we'll attack. Let's see what he does. Put our needle spires down, I guess, and uh, continue on. Gonna start drawing cards and losing life, so that is not good. But he's got a handful of cards already. Does he have a way to get rid of our carry Ziv? No, but he's got to live fast. Okay. What is going to do us the most good? Um, let's see here. I guess we attack. Let's see here. I guess Hazard is our play. <clears throat> Go ahead and put Isolated Chapel down because it will be tapped. Because we don't have a black or a white. And then this will come in untapped. Then we can play Onward. And um, we can discard Dusk with Hazard. 
and then play onward also. So uh, that will be pretty good. Let's see what he puts out though. He's got copter, okay. Okay, unlicensed disintegration, I guess, on Kerry Zev, okay. So what do we have? We've got Hazret that we should be able to maybe play this next turn. Let's see. Hazret can do double damage and kill him because we can get plus X plus O. Okay. Um, Dragon Skull Summit. One or fewer cards in hand. So if we um, discard a card, discard Dust to Dawn, it's going to do two damage to him. Then we do, um, he's got no mana open, so we can go ahead and do this right now. Make Hazard a 10 4 and attack. And that should get him. Okay, we've got him. That's good. Okay, what do we have? We've got two lands. Um, I guess we keep this. Okay, Flame Blade Adept is not good. But we can cut that down here in a minute. Guess we'll play this and get a white. Okay, play our Sacred Cat here in a minute, I guess, is our play. Looks like we're up against some sort of fast uh, discard deck with the uh, Flame Blade Adept. So we'll see what happens. Asylum Visitor, okay. I guess we'll put our cat out, depending on what we draw. Um, so we can block the 3-1 at least. Okay, two mana. But, um... I think I'm going to put out, put out the cat. See what he does. See if he's got some sort of removal or something like that. Let's see if he does. He might have removal. We'll have cut and we'll have never for any bad creatures he's got. Okay, attacks with his uh, flame blade of death because it's got menace. But holds back his other uh, creature, so he doesn't have some sort of combat trick, I don't guess. Or a way to get rid of our cat. He's thinking about maybe getting rid of our cat and attacking. I don't know why. Okay, now he confirms attack. Okay. We are not going to block that because it's got menace. Wouldn't block it anyway if it didn't have menace. Okay, what do we do? Let's attack with our cat. If he wants to block with the 3-1, let's let him.
Let's go ahead and put our handward garrison out. Let's see, okay, unless it's disintegration on our um, handward garrison, I'm sure. Let's see here, we probably need one more land and then we'll be good. Okay, what do we have? Um, let's go ahead and cut that 3-1. Get rid of it. And uh, let's just attack with our cat and gain some life. Need a little bit more mana though. We're kind of getting off to a slow start, but we're not, he's not beating us up too bad yet. So uh, maybe we'll do all right. Let's see. He's got. Hazard, okay, that is not good. Can't get rid of Hazard, so we gotta find some way to win. Okay, what do we do? Let's see here. I guess Goblin Arsonist and Selfless Spirit. Um. Let's see, could he discard a card? Um, and get Hazard to block? I guess he could, but... I think we'll go ahead and attack with our cat. Get some lifelink going. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We need one more or two more or three more mana. We could get more mana. Um, 3 out of 13 cards is uh, not a good ratio for mana, so we definitely need more. I'm sure you can discard a card and uh, make Hazard um, attack if he wants to. Maybe he's got something else. Maybe he's got a Chandra and uh... Okay, he's gonna discard a card. Does he have a fiery temper? Yes, has the fiery temper, okay. What does he do with the fiery temper? Does he kill one of our creatures or does he just put it directly on us? Okay, directly at us, okay, that's interesting. Okay, he's gonna attack with Hazard, okay. And he's gonna attack with that. 
So we need to double block and kill that, I think. Get rid of it. And I have no idea where our uh, land is. Okay. Guess we'll attack with our cat and then uh, start to finish. And uh, make a couple of tokens. Probably not going to win this one, now Because um, we didn't get any land, so, yep. Okay, Olivia, this is not good. Okay, attacks with them. Um, no, does not attack. Okay. Interesting. Don't know why he did that, but okay. Hey, there's some mana finally. Um, dang it. <sighs> hmm. Guess we hold back the block. I wanted to play the start to finish last time, but uh, the uh, pause timer didn't pause. How much does this do? This does uh, two. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure we can win this now. Okay, is the pause timer going to work this time? Make a couple of blockers. We can at least live another day. Okay, can we do anything at all to win? Make a couple of blockers. Um, we've got to kill Olivia. Don't think so. I don't think there's any way we can win. Um, let's see here. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's nothing we can do. Four out of the first 16 cards were land, so uh, another one of those land uh, screw, and uh, you can't land games. That's all right. Okay, what do we got? We've got two land. I guess we'll keep this. Let's see. We can put out our... What do we put out? Okay. Put out our black, white, and then put our red out. And then... That'll work. Put our siphoner out, and then we'll play this stuff and try to get our Dread Wanderer in sometime. So, Siphoner and then one of our three drops. Probably Henny. That might be the best. Play our red next. Okay, our opponent doesn't know what to play. Okay, he's got Air of Falconrath. Okay. Put our glint sleeve siphoner out. And let's see what he does. Does he have a way to get rid of our glint sleeve siphoner? I don't know. He's got red and black over there, two good colors to get rid of stuff, so maybe he does. Discard something to uh, flip his air falcon wrath. Okay, discards um, and puts out his uh, asylum visitor. Okay, flips air falcon wrath, becomes heir to the night. It's a three-two flyer. Okay, pretty good turn for him. Okay. Let's see here. What do we do? I think maybe Thalia is our best play. Um, that way his stuff is coming in tapped. I like it. And it can block this. So let's do that and attack. We've got Menace, so he can't block us. And we'll get another energy. Okay, if he has a way to get rid of Thalia, and then attack. He's doing a lot of damage to us, so uh, we might be in trouble. But uh, we'll see. Okay, what else does he have to play? If he had a lightning axe, fiery temper combo, he would have played it. That's one of my favorite combos, getting rid of our, both of our creatures, and, but uh, 
He would have already done that if he had it, I guess. And then attacked with his 3-1 um, uh, Asylum Visitor, but that didn't happen, so he must not have something like that. Okay, Scrap Heap Scrounger. Okay. Comes in tapped. So we get to draw a card. Okay. At this point, let's um, let's play our needle spires and never to return the uh, flyer. I think that's the best plan. And uh, we'll go ahead and attack with our glint sleeve siphoner. Can't block because we have menace. What do we have here as far as lands? I think we've got two of everything, so we just need to, to get something with Evolving Walls. Okay, Liliana <coughs> comes in tapped. Does he attack? <coughs> okay, we can definitely... Um, block that with Thalia. If that's what he really wants to do. Might have a combat trick. No, he just sacrifices it to uh, flip Liliana. Okay. That's fine. Does he tick her up? Can discard a Dread Wanderer if he ticks up on her, or he might he might have some kind of discard spell like a, a Fiery Temper to discard. That would be pretty good for him. Okay, we'll discard a Dread Wanderer. He discards it's another Scrap Heap Scrounger. Okay. Let's see, we get another land. Um, let's see here. We can return and get rid of one of his scrap heap scroungers. Maybe that's what we should do. Can't bring it back. Okay, let's go ahead and play this Evolving Wilds. I guess we get a black source. And we go ahead and attack um, Liliana. He either blocks and uh, loses his Asylum Visitor, or uh, loses his Liliana. Because this has Menace, this has First Strike, so if he blocks, we're going to get rid of that creature. So that would be okay. And uh, we'll take care of Liliana this next turn. Okay, he does block, okay. So first strike, get rid of that. Liliana goes down to three, okay. Okay, Ravenous. Bloodseeker, okay. 
And another ravenous bloodseeker. Okay. So we should be able to get rid of Liliana this next turn. I think we're going to get rid of the Hanwar Garrison. Let's go ahead and draw some cards, okay. Play this. Um, Yehenny has haste. Let's go ahead and attack. Um, if he's going to block, he'll block something. Probably block Yehenny. But, um,. Let's go ahead and um, do it like this, I guess. See what he does. Okay, blocks you, Henny. So we can sacrifice our zombie. Make it indestructible, okay, and then he gets a 1-1 counter, and then we put our handware garrison down. Okay. We'll discard this dust to a dawn, because it doesn't look like he's got any big creatures in this deck. Okay, we'll go ahead and block one of these. What does he have to um, discard? Okay, Alms of the Vein. Okay, he's going to gain some life. That's kind of crappy, but whatever. And he gets bigger. <clears throat> Do we have a cut to ribbons in our graveyard? No. We have a dread wanderer. Okay. What does he do? Takes up Liliana, okay. Okay, there's a start to finish to uh, make a couple of blockers. Which we could go ahead and do that now, right? Yes, okay. Might as well do that. Um, Destroy his creature and destroy one of our um, warrior tokens. This will make you hitting a 5 5. So, uh, yep. Let's do this and then do this. And uh, now we're looking pretty good. This will put Liliana down. Okay, he's got Scrounger. He's bringing him back, but we've got a blocker. So 
So, okay, we can block the scrounger. Then we've got enough to um, kill him, I think. Go ahead and block that. Not sure what he's got in his hand. He's got no blockers. We'll pay and draw an extra card, okay. Um, let's attack. Give you Henny a big buff. I'm going to okay, end the video here. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.